A key part of Botpress is how flexible it is. And a key part of that is its API. So today I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the API and what you can do just with code and how you can extend Botpress. Okay, now I'm going to give you a quick overview of all the endpoints that we have. Okay, so right off the bat here at the very top, we have what we call the chat API here. And that requires installing a chat integration. Now, if you want to uh, build a chat uh, application and call it via API, uh, this is the way to do it. So if you want to call something from a, a particular backend, you don't want to build an integration, you just want to connect via API, send a message and receive an, a response via uh, a webhook, uh, you can use the chat API like this. Uh, generally speaking, the way it works, if I open the endpoint, uh, you create a user uh, and then once you have a user, you get a token and that token allows you to authenticate your sessions. So then you can create conversations uh, like this, uh, and then you can create messages. Uh, where is it? Right here. Uh, and then you have all of these other uh, methods, such as like listing messages, uh, adding other users to your conversations. Uh, so that's the chat API. So basically, if you want to chat with your bot via API, you can use that. Uh, it works flawlessly. Otherwise, uh, what we have here is we have the raw conversations, conversation participants, conversation events, conversation messages. Uh, I say raw because everything in Botpress is attached to an integration. So every, every conversational element is attached to uh, an integration. And if you want to get the conversations for an integration, so for instance, if, you're, if your bot has web chat and WhatsApp, uh, you would have to do two calls separately, one for each. Uh, but in doing so, you could actually get all of the raw conversational uh, information from it. Uh, so all of these endpoints here from conversations to conversation users, uh, they're used to either build an integration if you want to do it uh, via code, uh, or in most of cases, uh, just to extract information uh, from your bot. Uh, next up here, we have the integrations uh, endpoints. So these are really to like, build an integration um, to create it programmatically, I should say, uh, to configure it, uh, to manage uh, the API keys of the integration. Uh, there's basically two, three things that you can do with integration. So one is act as a channel, uh, and that's what you see here with conversation, conversation participants, messages, and users. The other thing you can do is you can create an integration for reacting to external events. So for instance, uh, Stripe is a payment uh, provider. Uh, if a purchase goes through in Stripe and you want to act, you want to do something in your bot, uh, you can do that uh, with uh, events that you would throw. So that's the other thing that integrations can do. And finally, the last thing is also they can have actions that you can, you can call within Botpress Studio uh, to do things uh, with your bot. Uh, so that's what integrations does. Uh, next up, we have account management. So with this here, you can get your own account. So just get uh, information about the currently logged in user. Uh, you can update your account. You can list your uh, personal access tokens, uh, create, create more of them if you need to. And then afterwards we have the hub. So this is for, for information about what's in here. Uh, you can use uh, these endpoints to get all of this information. Next up, we have the bots right here. So you can actually just create them programmatically like this and you can update them and you can list them. Uh, so if you need to do something to your bot, uh, like add some configuration, uh, you can do it via API. You can also get your logs here, uh, get your analytics, uh, even uh, issues, I believe events here, issue events right there. So you can get pretty much everything attached to your bot. Uh, next up after bots, we have workspaces, uh, creating workspaces, listing them, deleting them, uh, updating them. Uh, you can also get your quotas. So a, we have usage quota. So Botpress is a usage, uh, mostly a usage based platform. And you can actually get your quotas, your limits, your usage, everything in here. And next up we have, oh, this is the usage specifically for, uh, for pricing. And then we have the files API here. So this allows you to basically uh, upload whatever file you want into Botpress and to be able to access access the information within it using natural language. We also have uh, tags, interesting thing here. So this really allows you to categorize and nest uh, every single file. And then when you're accessing it, you can say, what do you want uh, to grab, to filter from? And that allows you to search right here. Uh, finally, we have tables here. 
and uh, tables is almost the same as files, but it's for more organized data. So you're you're not uploading PDFs, you're not uploading images, you're just uploading uh, raw data that is structured. You can uh, create tables with this. Uh, you can add information to it. Uh, you can search. Uh, you can filter. Uh, it's in a way a lot more powerful, uh, but it assumes that you have already converted whatever information you have into structured information. But once you have that, all bets are loose. You can do everything with tables in terms of searching, filtering, organizing, uh, grouping by uh, everything you can think of. All right, and that's the Botpress API. I hope you enjoyed this video.